In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a flyer, a simple flyer like this uh, with a given resources like the logo, the text, and images. So if you analyze this um, flyer, we have uh, transparency here, that's why transparency. We also have this um, the uh, swish 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 shape and we also have this it's like a post it uh, effect here so anyway uh, I'm gonna go to page two here and what I did I'm I collected all the resources to create the flyer so this is the normal scenario we're in a client gives you a logo say for example this is the logo a picture uh, another graphic here and some text so going back to page one here if you notice the uh, it has a like a white border so the client mm, decided it won't be a bleed a bleed which means to say um, the uh, the graphics or the picture is to the edge of the paper so this one it has like a white border around so I'm gonna go to page 2 here so I know it's 8 and a half by 11 and it's a landscape mode so what I'm going to do here is I'm doing I'm going to create a, a rectangle and I'm going to size this so what I'll do I'm going to put 0.125 of an inch around the around the paper so that will be my white border so I click on my rectangular the rectangle and I'm going back here so if my width is 11 so I'm going to put there 10.75 and then my height would be instead of eight and a half I will put there 8.25 and then how do you center the an image or an object into the uh, to the page um, the shortcut key is letter P so type in P and it centers it to the to the page now what I normally do is I put a, a guideline around just to show that that's the edge of my graphics so I can um, grab a guideline by clicking on this and 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 in um, the setting uh, snap to objects would be a really good settings for this one because what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it to this line here okay so where do you get that you click on view and then click on snap to and you go snap to objects so again I'm going to grab a, a guideline and see here it says edge so now that's the edge of the uh, graphic so I click here and then go near the line and it snaps to the edge and I'll do the same thing here snap and then snap and then snap here so hit F4 to zoom to all the objects. So now I can uh, delete this rectangle. Okay. Now another setting which is also useful is you go to view and click on snap to guidelines. Okay, snap to guidelines so that when you're where you're putting some objects or text or graphics inside here, uh, you have uh, it would snap to all the to all the guidelines. Yeah. So now in, I'm going to put my logo here and then this is the main image that they want to use. So what I'll do, I'm, I'm going to enlarge that and then I'll probably move this up. Okay. Now in here, it's okay to go, go more than the, the uh, what do you call this, the guidelines because what I'll do here 
is I'm going to create a shape. So I'm going to go to my rectangular tool and see it snaps to the uh, guidelines. So I'm just going to make like a rectangle from here to there like that. And then I'm going to power clip this. Okay. So click on the large uh, photograph and then go to effects and then power clip place inside the frame and my frame is this rectangle that I made so I click on it and there you go now I'm going to put this logo here I'm just going to stretch it like that and uh, so that's my my logo and then now if you notice in page one here I've got this uh, swish shape so how do you do that so I'm going to go to my bezier tool let's just say I'm start from here and end here okay so now I've got that line I'm gonna zoom in here so I have that line so what I'll do is I'm going to change this to a curve so I go to my shape tool and then I click on this line okay and then here in the properties you can click on convert to curve so click on convert to curve and then we can reshape it okay. shape it like that okay that's that's good enough yeah. so now I've got the shape but if you go back to page one here you've got one two and three line curved lines right so I go back to page two here so what I'm doing I'm going to duplicate this one uh, but uh, when I duplicate this I'll make sure that the rotation angle is here okay I'll show you how how it works so I click on this line here okay so I click on plus sign my keyboard to duplicate without offset and I click one more time and then I can see the rotation handles see if I go like this you notice that's not the one that we want to achieve so I'm going to undo that so this one if you notice this that is the rotation pin so while I'm here I'm going to click on that and then I'll click on this intersection there and then now I can I can rotate okay let's so go back to page one here and then I'll go plus sign my keyboard again so duplicate so it also duplicates the rotation pin which is somewhere here so click one more time and then you go like this and then plus sign your keyboard again and go like that now the next thing we'll do here is is we're going to put like a smart field because what we need only is the shape here these three shapes so I'll go to my smart field and then I'll pour 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 so now and then I could delete all of these I mean these three curved lines oh, sorry it's four two three and then four okay so now if you notice if I'm just going to move this see those are three separate curve lines now so I'm gonna click on undo and then undo again so what I'll do here I'm going to go to page one here I'm just gonna copy this one so that I don't so I won't waste my time finding out what color should I choose and just put it there and then go back to page one here so now here I'm going to use my smart fill uh, sorry my my eyedropper tool to sample this color so I click on color eyedropper tool and then click on the dark darkest brown first and then I pour like that and then hold down shift to sample another color which is the middle color and then hold down shift again to go okay so 
So this is the the curve lines that I created, but I don't want the outline. So if you don't want the outline, you just click on this. Okay, I'm clicking on this tree or make tree objects, and then right mouse click on this icon here, which is the X, and that will remove all the outline. Okay. So now I already achieved this one. Just gonna zoom in here. So now what I'll do is I'm going to reshape my this picture here, okay? Because we don't need this this part here. So so I click on the image, okay, and which is a power clipped image. I'll go to arrange and I'll convert to curves. Okay. So when you convert to curves, now I can reshape it. So you click on your shape tool. And then now this node, I'm going to bring it up. And this one to that point there. Now we're not done yet. Um, we're going to click on this line here. And then I'm going to click on convert to curve. Because what I'll do, I'm going to shape this and bring it like that. So it'd be nice and clean. Right? Now, if your image is to the front, make sure to put it behind. Okay. Now, in page one here, anyway, you got. I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some transparency here. So I click on my rectangular tool, and right now my setting is still snapping to guidelines and objects. So what I'll do, I'm going to create one line and then I'm going to make sure that's aligned and then I will you know what I'll move this first I'll resize it okay. and then what I'll do I'm going to put white and then right mouse click on this icon here to remove the outline and then I'll put transparency. So I go to my transparency tool. And then instead of none, I'll click on uniform. And you notice there's a uniform transparency array, or you can even change it. Like that. So let's say like that. Okay. Now what I'll do here, I'm going to make a crossing window to select all these three swish lines. And I'll arrange and then order to front of page. So now it's to front of page. Now to stylize this some more, click on it. And then plus sign in your keyboard again. And then since it's still snapping, it will snap to the nodes here. Let's say I'm okay with that. And with this one, you can you already achieved their two tones of transparency here now. And then of course you can always edit it if it's if the transparency is you know it's not working. Okay. Now going back here too, you also have this one here. That's actually white, a white rectangular book box and uh, or shape and then it has transparency. So I'm going to create a rectangle here, say going that way color it white so remove the outline by right mouse click on this icon here and then get your transparency tool and then click and drag to the right there again you can also adjust it according to your likes I'm going to make this to the size of that there so we're okay with the top portion here and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I'm just going to delete this one. Okay, I'm not gonna delete this one. I'll just make it black so that we can save time. Okay. And then let's go back here. So um I'm going to create a, a rectangle again. Going like that. And then I'm going to color it like the darkest color here. So I click on my eyedropper, sample color, and then pour. And then remove the outline. 
right mouse click on this I also notice that the the image is an outline so I click on it and then I'll just right mouse click on this X icon here and now it disappears now I'm going to put this text here because it says software engineering okay. and uh, I'll say I'll make it white okay. and then you notice here in page one oh, I already deleted but anyway it has like a transparency so again go to your transparency tool click and drag to the left side and now you have a transparency a radial transparency okay. now I'm okay with this one now so so what I'll do I'm going to create another block here a rectangle so it's really nice if it snaps the guidelines so I don't need to see you know a line or something like that so I'll make it I'll touch it to this one here and then I will plus sign your keyboard and then I'll bring it like that let's say like that okay so now I'm ready to go to my uh, color eyedropper and let's say I'm going to sample that and pour it here and then maybe sample this one too I hold down shift and then click here and then there okay now remove the outline right mouse click here and I'll make this to back so to back of page so arrange order to back of page okay. now I want it to be differentiate, differentiated with this color and this because it seems to me it's the same color so I click on this, um, this rectangle here and then I'll go to my white here and then hold down control okay hold on control first and then click on white so what it does it makes like a it makes it um, a pale of that color like a tint so we're going to use this one too hold on control and then click on the the white icon there and now we have that so now I'm going to put my text okay I'm gonna put my text here okay just to make it faster what I did I already typed it down and uh, I think this is the one here I'm gonna zoom in okay so now how do you align the text let's say for example you got this and then this one here okay so how do you align so click on the paragraph and click on the second paragraph and click on the heading here and uh, type in letter L to align to the left if you notice it moved right okay. and you can do some minor adjustments here again okay. and then this one I'll just move going to the right and then I'm going to color this heading to that color just gonna make it bigger and then what I'll do I'm going to um, capitalize some of the words because that's kind of like a style now you can't really understand these words here because that's just like a dummy text but anyway so it's like that and then notice here too they're like bullets so what I'll do, I'm going to create a, a square. Okay, when you create a square, hold uh, a square while doing that, hold down your control button and then drag, and then you notice you'll have like a perfect square. So I'm gonna put it here. Okay. In this um in this time we don't need the snap to objects anymore. So we're just gonna activate that if we need it. So we go to snap to and then remove guidelines and remove the snap to objects okay so now we can move uh, things around smoothly okay so what I'll do I'm going to make this as the as the darkest color okay oops and then I'm going to remove the outline right mouse here 
and then I'll go plus sign in my keyboard to duplicate without the offset and then bring it down plus sign again bring it down plus sign bring it down okay so now can I remove that I don't know why that made a, an outline okay so and then I'm just gonna put this one here and I'm going to put this one too. Sorry, actually this one goes here and this one goes here. Now if you look at the original too, it has like a this kind of shape. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll do the same thing. So I'll create a rectangle from here. Okay. So this time we need the snap to guidelines. So we just activate it, go view, snap to guidelines and I'll go here and see it snaps because what I'll do I'm going to create another box like that and then I'm gonna move it to the right side and I'm going to color this one so let's just say this color here okay now of course I'll put this to back of page arrange order to back of page Remove the outline and I'm going to lessen the the darkness here. I'm just going to hold on control and click on this white button until it changes. I think I'm happy with that one. Okay. And now I'll just get the heading for this. Okay, I don't have the heading, but anyway, I'm just going to duplicate this. It, this is just a placeholder anyway. And then this one here, okay, so the client gave me this. So what I'll do, I'll just put it in this side here. Okay, so arrange order to back of page. And then... I'm gonna put all this text here. Put here. Click one more time to rotate. Okay, so now this one here. So same thing. Click one more time. It rotates. Okay, so you have to be consistent in your rotation. And this one too is click another time and then adjust okay I, hope I was able to to adjust it okay so anyway that's the one and then I'm going to I guess we don't need this anymore and then I'm going to, going to put the website here I'll make it the same color as this click And we'll just move it over there. Uh, maybe just shrink it down like that. Okay. So F4 to see the whole thing. And uh, now you have you have a flyer. Okay. So now we can go to view and then click uh, just remove the visibility of the guidelines by clicking on this off or by or by unchecking it. And there. And there you go. A simple, um, easy to do a flyer, designing a flyer in CorelDRAW. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.